there's so much more that is in common with us that's really than, than what divides us. Like if you really just if you just did a piece of paper and you said, oh, I mean, in any of these issues uh, or any of these situations, like we are all as vulnerable as much more vulnerable than we realize when we see something like COVID. And it affects the person in the high rise in Manhattan as much as someone in the township in South Africa. And I think there's been a lot of great rhetoric over the years and musicians and, and great writing about we really are all one. But I really think the, um, the movement that really has to happen is for us to really spend more time looking at the similarities and the beauty of those similarities. And I definitely feel like that is been core, been connected to my mental health journey and realizing I'm not so special after all. Like this is not, this is not, um, I'm not the only person that's experienced this. There are actually millions of people that are feeling this way or having trouble in this regard. And my desire now is to, is to help them. And, and because that's just kind of what I like to do. But I think where we are right now, the, the, anything that can help people see the similarities and the connections over the differences and the divisions is something that we have to move towards. And I don't have the answer or yeah. the prescription, but that's just like in my gut. It's just like when I look around and I slow down, really when I slow down, I really look at the, sp the specifics of what is happening. I'm like, we're just, we're losing the narrative because we're so focused on the negative or the division or the differences mm -hmm. when there's so many positives and similarities there. And and I, I wish I had a better answer to how we get there, but I feel like that's where we have to go. It's certainly the only way forward, but how to get there is is really a tricky problem to solve. I mean, you would think that when COVID was visited upon us as a collective, that that would be a unifying event. And that's and, what I thought. And what we saw was exactly the opposite. opposite. And that's dispiriting, you know, yeah. it's it's a bummer that something that we could have rallied behind and 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 come together around has really created an even deeper divide. And it's easy to um, lose hope about the future as we see that um, that gap continue to expand. Uh, and I think it's being exacerbated by these digital tools that have been weaponized to pit, pit each other against each other. It's like, I don't have, in my daily life, I'm not having strife and conflict like I see on social media. So I know in my heart that we do have, you know, this great, shared, um, you know, unifying, you know, threads and themes and things that we care about with our fellow human beings. But that's not what we see when we look at our screens every day. Yeah. And the impact of that, I think, is not to be um, overstated at this point. And figuring out how to, you know, rectify that is well, no I think small you problem. You use the word weaponized, and I think that is a very fair um, description of how these um, how how this how these apps and and sites and targeting and all the stuff that I don't understand exactly how they do it, but I know the effects of what's happening, and it has pitted people against each other in ways that I don't think they ever would have been mm -hmm. in without these these tools. And so I think one of the things that's important is for people to try to develop some real. Um, uh, you know, just awareness around how these things that seemingly seem innocent are affecting us in such yeah. a powerful way. Yeah, and to be more aware and mindful of yeah. just how powerful they are. And to the to the neuroplasticity point, the extent to which they really are manipulating oh. our emotional state, and and I think that requires appreciating just how easily manipulated we are. Like we we don't like to believe that we are, but we clearly are. Yeah. And we're seeing that getting played out right now. Yeah.